鬼鬼，就说是白血有无。Well, this game could turn out to be a fast-paced and frantic battle, considering how both of these teams like to get out and attack in transition. We'll see high-pressure defense and quick offense. Teams not really spending too much time getting into their sets. It's a great way uh, to get ahead of the slower-paced team, but with both teams running at top speed, this could get interesting. Well, the real test is going to be the stamina of these two squads. I think they're really bound to get worn out if they spend all game trying to outrun each each other. Now here's McDonald. Outside Parker. Tries it from nine. And too long on the shot. Bonner outside. To the middle. Here's misses incredible. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dewana Bonner. Such an unselfish player. Bonner is one of the best passing forwards in the WNBA. Constantly looking to get everybody involved. Now here's Howard. Pass to Hayes. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. One of the all-time great players in Phoenix Mercury history, Dewana Bonner. She spent her first 10 seasons in the Valley of the Sun and won two titles. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Parker got a hand on it, and she gets it back. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. And here's Connecticut. Pass to Williams. Over Hayes. Here's Bonner. A rebound by Ryan Howard. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. Hayes. And here is Howard. Six to shoot. Here's the pick to the inside. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. And Dewana Bonner was incredible with the Mercury, consistently great. Well, Bonner, she started her career coming off the bench, winning three Sixth Player of the Year awards, averaging double figures every season with the Mercury. And this is incredible, picks up the foul. That is her first foul of the game. Here's McDonald. Outside, Parker. Hayes. Side. Just three to shoot. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Well, when you've been in this league as long as Hayes, a little bump, I mean, it's not going to affect you at all. Going all in, that was the 2K drive, and it's well worth the second look. A just tremendous intensity going downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Bucket is good. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Thomas down low, guarded by McDonald. A nice shot by Mrs. Incredible. Just Staying engaged Thomas. throughout the course of a game allows Thomas to make crisp, precise passes to her open teammates. Now here's Parker. Hayes up top. Misses off the left iron. And here the sun. Looking back to the last decade, the 2010s. It was an up and down 10 seasons for the Connecticut Sun, winning one playoff round in the first seven years of the 2010s. Both teams deciding to change it up. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first. Outside Durr. Wheeler. Back to Durr. to Howard. Let's the three five. This is incredible with the rebound. 
And for Connecticut in the 2010s, they were really good in the back half of the decade. Yeah, 20 plus wins in the final three years of the 2010s, culminating with a finals appearance in 2019. The Sun franchise is really turning things around. Well, in terms of Atlanta, the future of this franchise has to be Ryan Howard, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Howard is a dynamic player. Wheeler, coffee. The basket good off the assist from Erica Wheeler. And hey, Coffee can make this shot, especially when given room. Here's Heideman, guarded by Wheeler. Down low, stolen by Coffee. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Durr. Six on the shot clock. They double her with Bonner. Durr shot is off. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but Number the defense 15. stood tall there. She's a very strong finisher on the fast break. And always in control, even at full speed like that. So impressive. So it's a tie game as we end the first. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter going. And looking at what we've seen from the Dream, what do you guys think? I think so far, the difference is the bench play of these teams. Their subs have really packed a punch for them. Pass to Parker. Jacks up a three. And out of bounds, the Sun will take it. Sun ball. Now here's Hartley. Now here is Sims. Now here's Mrs. Incredible. Parker defending. Hartley outside. Mrs. Incredible with it. And Mrs. Incredible picks up the foul. That's foul number two for her. Well, another foul will give her three before the half. That's something to keep an eye on. And Atlanta has possession. Coffee outside, fires from deep. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. Quick release from Coffee to get the shot away. Those catch and shoots can be deadly. In her first five WNBA seasons, Nia Coffee played in five different cities. Despite all that, Coffee's been a great three point shooter and pretty solid on the glass as well. Man, her defender straight to that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Learning to adjust to new surroundings, Nia Coffey has fought for her spot in the league. Uh, Nia has dealt with every type of change. I mean, her team has moved cities. She's been traded, claimed off waivers, and she's been in free agency. So credit Coffey for being mentally tough. Nice work inside. Hard to get that one to go over the bigger defender. Well, it was never going to be easy. A little artistry on the inside. Call it maybe a Rembrandt. The Sun trailing. Hartley outside. To the paint. This is incredible. Good. And the assist goes to Bria Hartley. There's a pattern taking shape. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Yeah, four of their last five baskets have been of exactly that variety. Pass to Coffee. Outside Wheeler. The three-pointer off the mark. And so here is Connecticut. Misses incredible with it. She's guarded by Hayes. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Handles the ball like a point guard. Thomas has the confidence and ability to disperse the rock. Pass to Billings. Hayes. Here's Coffey. Good on the three-point shot. She's certainly heating up from outside, and that's now her third three ball for the game. Second this quarter. Watch out. Miss is incredible. Defended by Coffee. They grab their own miss. A nice shot by Miss is incredible. 
and the lead goes right back over. What a seesaw battle we've got here. Absolutely. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can grab it. Somebody's got to take charge. Let's see how it plays out. Up top, Coffee. The three is up. And again, Atlanta with the triple. And for the teams that haven't quite met expectations, is this the point of the season where you start thinking about making trades or you wait a little bit longer? I mean, I've always believed that if you have the ability to improve your team, then you absolutely should. Even if that means shaking up the locker room a little. Yeah, I know a lot of coaches that would prefer to work through it with the players they have, but the front offices are typically a little more antsy to make a move. Ask a Wheeler. Back to Coffee. Outside Hayes. Five to shoot. And a miss there on the triple. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. Here's Thomas. She can't get that one to fall. And the dream going the other way now. Here's Coffey. This is incredible with the rebound. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. And there it is. Well, they can't ask much more of her than what she's done this quarter. The dream trail. Pass to Billings. Up top, Coffee. From downtown, it's good as five others before it were. He's now shooting six for seven. Well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for their last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. Double by Howard. And a bit of a battle for the ball, and the official signals a jump ball there. to Hartley. Now Bonner. Clock at six. Here's Sims. Goes back up. A nice shot by Mrs. Incredible. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Here's Howard. Can't hit the step back J. Now Hartley. That one misses. Would have counted had it gone. And we're through the first half of play here in 24. sides have assessed what they need to do over the break and we'll see if one can pull away in the third you have to like what we're seeing from mrs incredible she played a very smart game offensively looking for and finding gaps in the defense and always looking for the best shot possible yeah the way she played that first half well that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient on offense howard Pass to Billings. Outside Howard. Second shot opportunity. Billings. Here's Hayes. And John Quell Jones pulls it down. The Sun leading. Well, at 6'6, John Quell Jones has such a unique skill set. She's led the league in rebounding and she's led the league in blocks. Plus, she's finished top three in three point shooting. Atlanta with the ball. Pass to Billings. Hayes. She's guarded by Williams. Three-pointer. And Hayes is good for three. And the MVP, John Quell Jones, really a unicorn in this league. Hey, Jones is absolutely a one-of-one. One. Everybody wants three-point shooting. They want rim protection. Well, John Quell, she offers both, but beyond the skills, Jones is a great leader, a cornerstone for this franchise. Inside. A nice shot by Mrs. Incredible. 
Their interior defense has been dismal. They're losing the battle in the paint. Outside McDonald. Pass to Hayes. Now turn for three. The rebound by Courtney Williams. Still cold from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. Before the 2021 season, the dream had an ownership change. A welcome fresh start for Atlanta. And interestingly enough, an ex-player is part of the new ownership group in Atlanta. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see more of going forward. Former players getting a chance to own teams. I think it would help the communication between the current roster and management. From the arc. But they recover it. Another shot. Yes, on the jump shot. <laughs> Developing both physically and mentally over the last few seasons, Parker's really come a long way. To the inside. A nice shot by Mrs. Incredible. Boy, not a lot of resistance inside, and they're taking advantage. That aspect of this game, uh, the, you know, the play and the paint, has gone almost entirely their way. Absolutely. Pass to Billings. Durr. And there's a pick. Can't hit it from 12 feet. They've clearly been the better team on the glass, but it hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard. But I like their energy. If they can maintain that level of effort, I think it bodes well for them. A nice shot by Mrs. Incredible. Such a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. That's what she brings to the table. Now that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. Really made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Uh, if you made me pick a state that is the capital of women's basketball. Thomas with the ball. Down low. A nice Number shot two. by Mrs. Incredible. Assistant. Well, they've Assistant. built this lead through plays exactly like that. She's easily been the most consistent performer. No question about that. I mean, she's just hitting everything in sight. Well, there are so many things that players like to do to unwind. But what if I told you that Ryan Howard loves to draw and that painting cartoon characters is her favorite. The Dream making a switch here. And one of the brightest young stars in the league, Ryan Howard. Howard, just so many off the floor talents. In addition to, to painting, Howard loves to crochet. Yeah, she plays the piano, creates graphics. And Ryan Howard, just a, a brilliant player and a brilliant person. Pass to Parker, Hayes. McDonald. Five on the clock. For three. That's good, and it's Ryan Howard with the assist. And add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not letting up. you love to see that. Out to the left wing. Here's Mrs. Incredible. Foul called that time on the way up. It's on Cheyenne Parker. What a play in attack mode and get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Outside McDonald. Pass to Hayes. Shoots over Williams. Parker. And she banks in the layup. Just an all-around playmaker. Doesn't matter the situation. Hayes stays ready and just makes things happen. To the middle. A nice shot by Mrs. Incredible. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves. Pass to Billings. Howard. Here's Parker. 
misses the three. They've been rebounding very well all game long. And they've needed every one. This game is still close. Let's see how it ends up. Outside Howard. Parker defended by Mrs. Incredible. Parker, good. So poised on the offensive end of the floor. Parker is a dependable scorer. Picked by Mrs. Incredible. Down low. It's tipped. The shot. Tiffany Hayes grabs the miss. Atlanta trailing here. Pass to Howard. Hangs in the air. And count the basket. She's fouled, and she's going to the line for one more. The Sun making a switch here. A lot of players say they want to be in those situations, but she truly does. What a clutch performer. Thomas outside. To the paint. A nice shot by Mrs. Incredible. She has been ever present in the paint today, getting so many of her points from inside. Side Howard, shoots over Bonner, and a basket by Howard. Absolutely fearless offensively. Howard knows her team is counting on her, so she gets it done. Pass to Bonner. Thomas. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone in the fourth. And here is Jones, four on the clock. Williams. That's two points on the layup. What a beautiful play inside, using that height advantage just to lay the ball up and in when they really needed a basket. Pass to Parker. McDonald. There's a screen. Here's Billings. Outside Howard. Launches a three. Bucket to bring them within one. What a big shot for Ryan Howard. She might not be the most experienced player, but she can certainly dig deep. Here's Williams. It's hauled in by Cheyenne Parker. And game could be on the line right here. It's now or never for them. So mature mentally and emotionally. Hayes stays composed throughout the game. Here's Thomas. Here's Mrs. Incredible. Money. But that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready to react as soon as the shot goes up. And the dream call time here. take guys they got two options take the three to tie it or get a quick two good foul and if it opens up for them inside the quick two wouldn't be a bad call but the foul has to come yeah. immediately after it that. has to come immediately you cannot waste a second Number three tiffany hayes misses the tray and now they foul and stop the clock Fourth team foul. And 
She misses the first one. Boy, she really wanted that one to fall. A big time player. Jasmine Thomas, ready for the moment. From deep three point range, and the miss. So it's a narrow victory for the Sun, but pulling it out for the W. This was a hard. Fans for making it after tonight's event, please exit the building carefully.